Speaking of our most used knives. This is probably one of my most used kitchen knives. This little cleaver. Yeah, uh, I want to say we've had this for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think I got it at some random home goods store, and I just love this little thing. You can see the size. It is little. I mean, uh -huh. it's not more than a three-inch blade there. But uh, yeah, it's a great little knife. Somebody's going to ask about it, so we'll put a link in where you mm -hmm. can get them. They are, they are nice little kitchen knives. But yes, but this is not what this video is about. But it is in the Cleaver family, it right? It is in the Cleaver family. All right, what else do we have in the Cleaver family? We have the Zugang, the Kaiser Zugang. Who would carry one of those? You would. I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> and probably many, many other people. Yes, this is this has been a popular one, yeah. But this is probably what started your Cleaver fetish. Cleaver fetish? Yes. I guess that's fair, sure. Uh huh. <laughs> so there's that one, and then another Kaiser. Yep. The sheepdog. The C01C sheepdog. And Love that this one's design. a little bit more cleaver esque. Well, the I typical think typical cleaver. Style. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit more utilitarian, perhaps. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit more scary and deadly looking. Yes, that <laughs> is true. Um, yes. Yeah, very high quality, awesome designs. I mean, uh, we've talked about the cleavers. Who carries mm -hmm. a cleaver? It's a bit audacious, is yes. what the term that I use to carry a cleaver, right? But we need a new one. What is? What do we have now? Well, if you've got the cleaver fetish like me. Um, you keep going mm -hmm. with all the latest and greatest designs, okay? Okay. There's so much you can do with the cleaver blade style. Mm-hmm. Frankie, if the people have been following us for a little bit now. I know, the suspense is killing me. Come on, just bring it out. You want to give it a flip? Okay. Oh, look at that aggressive stance. Look Even at when that it's guy. closed. Check it out, you guys. He is aggressive. Very aggressive. Okay, this is, uh, this is yet another, I want to say... Frankie, I'm tempted to say the term badass. Yes, it's it a kind badass of is. cleaver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and the name is just awesome too. What is the name? War Admiral. This is the War Admiral, okay? Mm -hmm. Guys, this is um, this is Vlad's design. I want to say this is his first design that uh, well, at, le at, at least the first design that went into production. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, it's technically considered a mid-tech, all right? Made overseas by the Wee Knife Company. Mhm. Mm we know uh, we all know that Wee Knives make some well. Well, well-made knives. Well-made knives, uh -huh. yes. Uh, so they're producing this one for him. VDK Knives. That's Vlad. Yes. Frankie, I'm going to attempt his last name. Okay, go for it. I've never heard it, so I have to say it by myself. Okay. It's uh, Domozirov. Okay. I believe. It sounds right. Maybe I'll put, <laughs> maybe I'll put the spelling up there. Sorry, Vlad. Uh, I'll put the spelling up there. You guys tell me if I'm right. Domozirov, yeah. Yes. Um, but this wife wasn't named by that Vlad. This knife wasn't named by him? No. Who was it named by? His wife. Oh. I believe Elena is her name. Nice. Yes. Good the choice. The Admiral, right? Yeah. She also named the other knife. Um, it's called the Pioneer of the Nile. That, that's really cool, too. <laughs> Some really cool names. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah I, I like it. Part of the fun with some of the knives that we have is, is the cool names that they get. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, and I know that this is going to be just like the first of many of his designs. I oh, yes. Yeah. I can just sense them coming. Well, especially considering that the guy is 21 years old. Yeah. I knew he was young. I didn't realize he was that young. And he's already designing knives. I'm jealous. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing anything productive at 21. <laughs> no. But check out how aggressive, even on the, um, let's see here. Check out how aggressive the, what do you call this? The, the peak or the point or the horn, right? It, it, it's, it looks like a horn, kind of. Look at how prominent it is when the blade is closed. Yeah, it is crazy. Okay, isn't that cool? It's got such an aggressive, cool look to it, mm -hmm. right? Used to knives where they just kind of bury in. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit sticking It's almost like pocket. dangerous by itself, too. It's <laughs> it like... could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, let's just talk about yeah, the, specs the specs on this guy, right? All right, so it is the War Admiral, brand new. Mm -hmm. Okay. 3.75 inch um, blade. Blade length, right? Yes. S35VN. Mm hmm. Frankie, don't ask me for another fun fact. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the S35 fun fact is, well, first of all, uh, 2016 is going to be the year of S35VN. Yes. Okay. We I, already knew that. You already said that. I know. In the last I think video. I'm out of fun facts for S35VN. Mm -hmm. I think I will say this though. I think the S35 is one of the best all-around blade steels is that we've seen. Is it also the year of the goat or something? I'm not what sure. are you talking about? I don't know. That's you random. <laughs> year of 2016. Anyway, <laughs> you're throwing me off guard. You're talking about goats. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now, um, S35VN, it's a, it's an excellent all-around blade steel. Oh, okay? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but on that note, real quick, though, Vlad is one of them who, uh, he's one of the people who is responsible for possibly making the change um, this next year on getting new blade steels Ooh, for the Wee Knife Company and his designs, right? Yay, something yeah. new. Um, not that this is a bad steel. It's actually quite an excellent steel. But there's just, we, we have so much S35VN. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta change it up a little bit, right? No, you can't go wrong with the stuff yeah. though. We've talked about it a lot, right? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, so that's the blade style. He's got this uh, kind of eyelet right here. Now, Vlad uses this as a, as a, as a flicker opener. Oh, uh-huh. Maybe I need to break this one in more, but I can't quite do it yet. Yeah, that seems like a Ah, uh, yeah, it's tough. Watch him on his channel. He can do it. <laughs> he can do it like it's nothing. You, you can sit down and practice. I will. I'll mm -hmm. have to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's primarily a flipper, though. Oh, well, let's talk about detent on there. Oh, it's... So it's a heavy blade, right? Yes. So it does flip very well, and it's got mm -hmm. a solid detent. Well, and what we were talking about is kind of like a pendulum. It has like that. It is. Once you get it going, it, it wants to move and, and lock into place, mm -hmm. right? And same you thing can. Back. Like if you really shake it out, you can get yeah. the, the blade out, but that's just, it, it's the same with the other, um, all the other cleavers that we have. It's just mm -hmm. a lot of weight up here. Oh yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and you wouldn't want to make the detent any stiffer. It's actually, I'd call it pretty well perfect yeah. where it's at here. Well, and it falls nicely too. The weight of that blade, mm -hmm. yeah. It makes um, it just go right back into the place. You know, use caution with a knife like this, obviously. Oh well, yeah, you could cut yourself pretty easily. You could, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but hey, that's that. That's the lifestyle. You're going to mm -hmm. cut yourself in the knife world, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it is on bearings, right? Yeah. Now, we haven't taken this one apart yet. And no. I'm going to guess, got it. <laughs> as smooth as this knife feels, I wouldn't be surprised if it's that double row of bearings. Oh, that yeah. I wouldn't doubt knives. it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just it, the single row bearings ni knives are, are never as smooth. And this sucker is just very fluid, right? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. All right, the titanium scales. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's bring in a picture of the other one here real quick. Do, 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 do. I think that the that the textured pattern here mm -hmm. is going to be the more popular one. I think so too, just because I feel like it's a little bit better, like blank canvas too. Well, and let's talk about that for a second. Blank mm -hmm. canvas, okay? This knife, it looks good as it is. Yes, it does. We're going to bring in some photos of what can be done with these yeah, knives. Yeah, look at these beautiful colors. Yeah. Um, Frankie, we might go through, I think we're showing a picture of Joe Banana's work. Yes, we kind of want that one. Yeah, we, we've contacted him. So um, actually, this is probably going to be the first video that you'll see of this knife. Of mm -hmm. Then we'll two see colors, three. too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I <laughs> Frankie hate, loves colors. I hate to use the term pimped. Let's pimp it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we are looking to uh, to modify this. So, like you say, in that in that sense, it is kind of a blank canvas, mm -hmm. right? All right. Yes. There we go. Did we mention? Oh, lock bar. Oh, okay, yeah. so you see evidence of that with this little screw here. Mm -hmm. So there's a steel insert lock bar, so it's steel on steel as opposed to titanium on steel. Okay. I can grab the flashlight. Is there one? Oh, here. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Let's go. See if you can get down in there. See that little lock bar insert? Yep. Okay. That's a steel insert, so it's steel on steel on the blade, right? And then also behind that, you can't quite really see it, but there's an over travel stop, so it can't oh, travel okay. any yep. further. That's good to have. And a knife uh, of this price, we'll talk about that. Um, you kind of expect it. Now the cheaper Zugang, that's the overstop. Oh yeah, it's on the outside. I don't like I it. I like it when they're hidden more. They're hidden, they're doing their work behind the scenes, okay? As mm -hmm. opposed to something like this. Yeah, he's right? doing his work out in the open. And it's just, it doesn't really go on the knife necessarily. <laughs> that stuff should be hidden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just like <laughs> I just like the discreetness of this style, you know, kind of the behind yeah. the scenes. But All he right. is a heavy guy too, let's weigh him. Well, I'd say it's relatively heavy. No, it's not too bad for like the size of it is. That it is. 5.65. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's the Zoo Gang. The Zoo Gang's probably going to be a little lighter. Yeah, just a touch. Just a touch over 5 ounces. Well, I bet you that's it, the heaviest. It's the heaviest. Yeah. Yeah, so it's right in the middle of these two. Not bad, considering... I mean, like, check this out. Well, it's the biggest of all of them, too. Look at the thick blade stock that has. That's a lot of S35VN. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay, yeah. And we're going to we're gonna do its width, too. Yeah, width on that. I'm saying it's probably average. Slightly hmm. under, slightly wow. under half okay, inch. Okay, yeah. basically, basically average though. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Um, wow, love this knife, Frankie. I've been carrying it ever since. Well, I've been carrying it for the last two days anyway. Yes. And for the foreseeable future. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it is yeah. really cool. Well, okay. Maybe we should talk about availability. Yeah, let's do it. Well, and well, let's talk about colors first. Colors, then availability. Yes. Okay. Colors, colors, colors. It comes in blue, purple, and green. Well, there's a batch of yes. blue, purple, and green. But you have to email Vlad directly okay. to we'll get put, those ones. Right. We'll put in a link to that, um, to Vlad's email, or, you know, check out blades101.com. You can you can get a hold of him there. And here's um, some, let's put a picture in for the colors, too. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be showing you a picture right now. Okay. And those also include what we're going to be talking about, the 
the plain version. Okay, so the plain handle version oh, that we have yes. here, uh -huh. and then also the plain handle version with the black stone wash blade. Oh, that's right. That's a different model too. That's right. really cool. So here's what's happening on those. There are 10 each of those versions, right? Yes. Frankie, they're going to be available this Thursday. This Thursday? Yep. Where at, at what time? Well, at 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Okay. At Blade HQ. Nice. Right. So That's guys, awesome. you'll be able to get you'll be able to get one of these scored on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. Set your Blade alarms. HQ. Yeah, we would love our audience because we know we have some of these cleaver lovers out there. Mm -hmm. We would love our audience to get a hold of some of these. Yes. Well, we have the best audience too, so they need to have the best knives. Yes. Okay. But if you want one of the colored ones, you got to email Vlad. Okay. Yes. He's got those ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else we got, Frankie? Well, speaking of colors, we, we wanted to start with this one, okay, to show it off and to get it quicker, honestly. Yeah. But we are going to modify ours. Yes, we are. Joe, are we, ba Joe are Bananas. We, are we going to bananaize it? Banana, bananaize it, I think it is. Bananaize. Yeah. If you guys heard of Joe Bananas before, <laughs> um, we, we first learned about him from Terra Fanatic mm -hmm. over there. But um, yeah, he's probably going to get this knife in the next, I don't know, a couple of weeks or so. Yes, I'm excited. It's going to look so good. We're not quite sure what to do with it. Um, guys, give us your opinion. What do you think oh, would look good on this knife? It looks so good in all different colors. I think so. I mm -hmm. think so. But yeah, if you buy yours um, in this style here, I want to say the price, well, I haven't confirmed it on the Blade HQ, but I know on Vlad's site, um, I'm going to say they go for about four, uh, four, two eighty five. dollars okay? Yes. Which is a good price for a mid-tech produced knife like mm -hmm. this. That's a really right? good deal. Yep. American Steel, American Designer, produced at a um, ultra high-end production company like We Knives. All right. Um, two eighty five. dollars not bad. Yeah. Not sure about the colors. I, I didn't get that detail yet. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, Just anyway. email Vlad, he'll let you know. Yeah, for sure. He's got a channel too, YouTube channel for some of our new subscribers. We'll put a link into that. But we were happy to get this one, Frankie. We put a pre-order out on it mm -hmm. and we got it. Well, and one thing we wanted to mention too, mm -hmm. get on Instagram. You know, Vlad's over there doing a giveaway. I don't know if he's done that one yet, but he's always doing giveaways. Yes. <laughs> get well, get over on Instagram. He's giving away a green one of these. It's yeah. awesome. I know that some I of you- I want to enter. I know that some of you made accounts specifically <laughs> to get in that giveaway, which is awesome. Yes. Um, yeah. You know what, though? I mean, let's let's take a second. You need, let's, like, public service announcement. You need to be on Instagram. Exactly. The whole knife world is there. Uh -huh. Okay. And the firearm world and EDC, everything. Well, right. and it's just so much fun to take pictures of knives. Yeah. Take a picture of your EDC. It's right? amazing. It's fun. And beautiful, and it's fun. And Frankie, it's so much better than Facebook. It really is. <laughs> it's so much better. Yeah. Oh, but, check this out. Shine your light down in there in the lanyard hole so right down in there see there's a little channel in there yes uh huh. where the lanyard runs through oh nice it's, so it's out uh -huh. of the way of the blade oh that's a really that good idea yeah it's just a little thoughtful type of thing you know, that's sweet night. yeah little detail yeah. nice what else didn't i mention jumping up on the on the tab mm -hmm. yeah i mean okay oh there you go with your I light know, spotlight crazy. yeah <laughs> <laughs> once you get that spotlight <laughs> um who's gonna carry this knife well i do i mean we've talked about it before yes. it's not a practical it's not like ultra practical carry, okay? It'll right. do any job you need it to. The, the type of person that's going to carry a knife like this enjoys a knife like this. Yes. For well, its novelty. It's artistic style too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, well, and it's just fun to show off. Be like, oh, oh, you have just a little Swiss Army knife? Well, look at what I have. <laughs> Guys, if, if you show this it's off to cooler. your friends, co-workers that are, that are cool, that is, you know, um, mm -hmm. they're going to want to handle this knife. Hey. There's another reason why you want that lock bar insert. <laughs> true. Because I mean, people are going to want to handle this knife, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, they get the Hulk hands and then want to overextend it. But yeah. <laughs> That's the first video of probably two or three, at least, that we're going to do on this knife. Thanks for the spotlight. Spotlight. Yeah. All right. This Thursday at 5 p.m., okay? Yes, get you can yours. order them at Blade HQ, right? Mm hmm. Or you can email Vlad and get the colored ones. He'll have more details. Colored ones are awesome. Yeah. Or you can get one of these now and anodize it yourself or have yes. it done, right? Yes. Very, very cool. This is a pretty sick design, I must say. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love these kind of knives. You know, I guess real quick, too. I'm all out of order tonight. Yeah. I didn't really talk about the handle. But see how it tapers down? Oh, yeah. It's really thin mm -hmm. at the bottom. It's... Of the three cleavers that I have, this is the nicest in the hand. I don't know what you feel about it. A little bit of jumping on the top there. It's very comfortable in the hand. It is. The, well, the sheepdog is pretty nice too. Just, I, you can kind of feel the thinness of it. Yes. It actually feels nicely. And I like the the texture. Yeah, the, the milled pattern. The, the milled pattern. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gives it a little bit of extra grip, but it's yeah. not uncomfortable at all. Yeah, I do like it too. 
Um, it is definitely the most comfortable of the cleavers that I have. And look, my polish matches it too. Somebody yeah. will mention that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tip up the way it should be. Uh -huh. Right hand only. Sorry, lefties. Sorry, lefties. Yeah. Excellent knife, guys. Get in there and get yours, okay? Yes, do it. Yeah, I'll be carrying mine all week, so you might see it. Do uh, it Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, or get your email in. <laughs> These are cool. Cleaver fans unite. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, thanks a lot for joining us, guys. Bye! Yep. No, all I'm saying is, the guy wearing the skinny jeans who's voting for Hillary Clinton, that guy's not in the market for a knife like this. But we aren't going to talk about politics. Yeah, but that's not politics, though. That's just a fact. Well, that's true. Yeah.